Kobe, I've been knowing you for a long, long time. I've always wanted to ask you this question. We kind of have similar backgrounds. I'm from New Jersey. I know you're from the Philadelphia area. You moved to Italy. I was, you know, hanging out in Germany as a youngster. How was it growing up in Italy? You know, did you live on a, you know, a, a, a place that was with all Americans, or were you with Italian kids? I mean, yeah, we um, because we were also young. You know, I was six. My sister Shay was seven. My eldest Sharia was eight. And so we were just starting elementary school, basically. And so our parents just immersed us in Italian culture. So we were just surrounded by Italian kids. We were just learning the language as they were. So for us, it was full immersion. And there, was, there were no American bases. There was, there was nothing. It was just straight Italian. So where did you get the killer instinct from as a basketball player? Because so, for me, I used to go on an army base. And being the big kid, I used to have to play with the big guys. Mm -hmm. They used to throw me around and, and, and beat me up. Where did you get your killer instinct from? Well, yeah, I think a lot of it um, had to do with um, isolation. Growing up over there and being the only uh, African-American kid, not being able to speak the language, I gravitated towards the game. And in that game, you find a lot of, um, um, you find solace in the game. And then when you play with kids that you know, might not um, accept you because you're an outsider, but yet when we come to play the game, that's my chance to, to, to get vengeance on them for not accepting me. In the, and that's where it kind of started developing. And, and throughout the course of my life, it's always been that. It's always been the outsider and having to come in and prove, you know, or, or, or to seek some sort of vengeance when I play. Do you remember what you told me one day in the forum when I first met you? Mm -hmm. You said you were going to be the finish it for me. What, the greatest player of all time? Yes. You remember you told me that? No, but that sounds that sounds something. No, that sounds like it. something that I would say. <laughs> you, you, actually, you actually said that, and then you actually said I'm gonna be the Will Smith of the NBA. This was oh, your really? Career, and I was like, all right, <laughs> okay, Will, Will Smith. Whatever you said. Yeah, times have changed. <laughs> uh, yeah, now you know I've always had ambition. Another thing you told me as an 18 year old, I'm gonna be better than Mike. So I, I knew it definitely drove you, and you know it's always gonna be there those comparisons when. Somebody's come before you, and you do some. I mean, I don't know if you pattern the game after him or not. I don't know if you watch him in high school, but there was a lot of similarities. But I know, I know that day you passed up Michael Jordan. I know you was probably riding in your car like. You know what, man? I, I thought I would be, but like, what happened is when I came in the league and I wanted to take him on, right? And really, all I heard was, you know, they called him Black Panther, they called him Black Jesus, and all this stuff. I said, I want to see what this is about, and. Um, but what happened is that we wound up, he wound up becoming a big brother to me. How you doing, man? I know where you're going. You got to get up quick. If you knew where I was going, why you go for the fake? Mike, after you fake the ball, where else are you going to go? You just left your feet. Yeah, but where else are you going to go? In the game, I go for you. I spun all the way around. I go for these ribs right here. He saw something in me that reminded him a lot of himself when he was coming up. And he took me under his wing a lot and showed me a lot of things, taught me a lot of things, a lot of leadership things. Kobe Bryant passes the great Michael Jordan and moves into third on the NBA. So when I pass him up, I remember talking to him afterwards and saying, you know, this is kind of, it's, it's, you know, like he's still here. The information and the stuff that he's passed on to me, I'm breathing that spirit back into the game all over again, which is a lot of the reason why I try to do that now for the next generation, because he did that for me. Bill Russell did that for me, Jerry West, and all these guys, but Michael in particular. What most people don't know is our story goes back when I met you um, in Orlando. In Orlando. Right. You guys had, we're playing the Pacers in the playoffs in 94. And I uh, came to a game and, you know, Penny back then was my role model. And, you know, I looked up to him quite a bit. I asked to take a picture with him. He kind of brushed me off. I remember that. Yeah. And I came to you, asked to take a picture. And you were like, yeah, come here, young fella. Yeah, where you from? You know. I remember that. And uh, that's when, the first time I met you. 